Violence Awareness Month, and today detectives in Clark County hit the streets to arrest those linked to domestic violence cases. While the roundup was less than successful, Lauren Adams tells us the department will continue the effort. It's April 2008 when a domestic situation in Clark County turns deadly. An officer is shot several times before the suspect turns the gun on himself. Then Officer Scotty Maples is next to the officer in the car who ultimately survives his injuries. We were in the same vehicle together and uh, we were on the same shift together, but uh, he was shot and uh, it, was, it was definitely scary. Now a captain with the Clark County Sheriff's Office, Maples says the department responds to domestics daily. Some are resolved, others become criminal. But with emotions running high like they did on that April night back in 2008, every call has a potential to be dangerous and many suspects have a tendency to reoffend. It's why detectives are attempting to serve battery warrants. But there's little luck during the morning and afternoon hours. Most of these in Clarksville that, that we attempted were not good at it. So after regrouping, detectives once again hit the streets. 81, it's going to be this first apartment on the right. Detective Nick Mobley tries not only homes, but businesses on his list. Still, nothing. Sometimes you get lucky the first time you go there, and the person might even be sitting on the porch, but, uh, you know, that's not the normal. Along the way, there are tips, including a man who says the neighbor police are looking for is now home, but the truck outside belongs to someone else. Well, uh, we gave it a shot. Still, Captain Scotty Maple says the department isn't discouraged. If you have an active warrant, we're, we're going to be looking for you. Lauren Adams, W.